Hey guys, Mr. P. In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the fluid mosaic model or the plasma membrane in order to earn full marks on an IB exam. So the first thing we want to do when drawing the fluid mosaic model is we want to obviously start with the base molecule of our cell membrane, which is the phospholipid. So I'm going to start drawing a few phospholipids. If you remember, a phospholipid is a molecule that has a phosphate head and two fatty acid chains. You also hopefully recall that the phospholipids are oriented in a bilayer with heads out towards their environment and tails together. So we're going to go ahead and label this molecule the phospholipid. This entire width is the lipid bilayer. The fatty acids are the two little chains. Okay, so we'll label those fatty acids. Again, each phospholipid has two fatty acids. Now, inside of the tails, or inside of this zone of hydrophobicity, will be small molecules that add some integrity, some structural integrity to the membrane. Those molecules are called cholesterol. Outside or next to our phospholipids, if we're heading towards the right of our diagram, there also will be some proteins embedded. This particular protein will label integral. This is an integral protein because it spans the entire membrane from outside to inside. Next to it will be another set of phospholipids. And then we can add a glycoprotein. Now glycoprotein will be an integral protein. Uh, but the glycoproteins have carbohydrate chains, so we'll label this protein glycoprotein. Okay, next we'll have a few more phospholipids. Again, this is a fluid mosaic model, so we have to include all of the necessary components of a lipid bilayer. Next to that particular protein will be another integral protein, but this one has a channel or a, uh, a path passageway through the membrane. We'll label this channel protein. Next to it, we'll finish off the lipid bilayer with a bunch of phospholipids. And the last type of protein we want to include would be a peripheral protein. Now, a peripheral protein is going to be a protein located on only one side of the membrane. Okay, peripheral protein. Um, we can go ahead and add a few more cholesterol molecules kind of throughout. Now, it is important to note that the cholesterol is not going to be found between every single phospholipid, but the cholesterol is going to be kind of throughout the membrane. It gives structural integrity to the membrane. Uh, we can go ahead and label this chain right here with a carbohydrate. That adds the glyco portion to the glycoprotein. Um, we can go ahead and label inside and outside of the membrane. This would be the inside of our cell. This on the top would be the outside of our cell. This would be all of the requirements or this would be an ac acceptable number of requirements for how to draw the fluid mosaic model from uh, an electron micrograph or for earning full marks on your IB exam. If you learn something, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, add your questions to the comments, subscribe to the channel. See ya.